Listen to five environmentalists delivering a speech about the dangers of global warming. Speaker 1 Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Today, I stand before you not merely as an advocate for environmental stewardship, but as a harbinger of a truth that demands our unwavering attention. The menace that looms on the horizon, casting an ominous shadow upon our world, is none other than the insidious specter of global warming, a perilous predicament that portends catastrophic consequences for our shared future. Allow me to elucidate the gravity of this crisis, for the tempest of climate change threatens to dismantle the very foundations of our existence. The ceaseless ascent of greenhouse gas emissions, stemming from anthropogenic activities, inexorably engenders a destabilization of Earth's climate system, an unforgiving reality that begets climatic extremes heretofore unseen. Consider the profound ramifications upon our fragile ecosystems, wherein biodiversity wanes as habitats erode, leaving myriad species in perilous disarray. The ripples of this upheaval, echoing across the trophic pyramid, cast a pall over the intricate tapestry of life that we hold and trust. To address this epical challenge, we must navigate the tumultuous seas of geopolitical cooperation with the acumen of statesmen and the sagacity of scholars. No longer can we harbor illusions of isolation, for the very air we breathe knows no boundaries. Global solidarity is imperative, as we grapple with the Herculean task of mitigating greenhouse gas emissions, phasing out fossil fuels, and advancing sustainable energy alternatives. Ladies and gentlemen, the hour is nigh when we must shift the discourse from apathy to action, from equivocation to resolve. To confront the existential threat of global warming, we must marshal the arsenal of science, innovation, and education. We must deploy policies that transcend the political divide and evoke the spirit of unity that has propelled humanity through the annals of history. In the words of the great Winston Churchill, the era of procrastination, of half-measures, of soothing and baffling expedience, of delays, is coming to its close. In its place, we are entering a period of consequences. The consequences of our inaction are dire, but the possibilities of our concerted effort are boundless. Let us, in concert, confront the peril of global warming with the same unwavering resolve that has illuminated the path of human progress for centuries. In doing so, we shall not only preserve the precious heritage of our planet but also bequeath to future generations a legacy of stewardship, wisdom, and resilience, a testament to our shared determination to forge a sustainable and harmonious future. Thank you, and may our collective resolve be the beacon that guides us through the tempest of change that now confronts us. Speaker 2 Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed participants, Today, I address you not merely as an advocate for environmental consciousness but as a sentinel heralding an existential conundrum that imperils our world. The looming specter, which I submit for your contemplation, is none other than the ominous peril of global warming, a quandary so profound that it demands our collective comprehension and unwavering resolve. Permit me to elucidate the profundity of this predicament, for it is not simply an ecological quandary, but a quintessential moral dilemma. The persistent escalation of anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions, fueled by a burgeoning human footprint, inexorably engenders a perturbation of Earth's climatic equilibrium, an unprecedented alteration that imparts climatic vicissitudes heretofore uncharted. Behold the implications, etched in the annals of science, for they speak of tumultuous metamorphosis across our terrestrial sphere. From the encroachment of desertification upon once vital lands to the accelerated loss of biodiversity across the biosphere, we bear witness to a grandeur of complexity and consequence unparalleled in human history. To engage earnestly with this epical crisis, we must chart a course laden with the virtues of wisdom and conscientious endeavor. No longer can we naively cling to parochial notions of isolation for the interconnected web of causality that characterizes our global ecosystem beckons a more universal accord. International cooperation, poised upon the fulcrum of shared responsibility, is the clarion call of our age. At the heart of our response to this climatic challenge lies the imperative to transcend myopia in favor of prescience. The ceaseless advancements in scientific innovation, when leavened with pragmatic governance, 
shall serve as our guiding star. We must divest from the carbon economy that has been our boon and bane and wholeheartedly invest in the ascendancy of renewable energy matrices. Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves at a juncture, not of equivocation, but of inexorable consequences. The age of procrastination has concluded, and we are thrust into an era wherein the burdens of decision, weighty though they may be, must be shouldered with the fortitude of purpose. In the venerable words of Carl Sagan, our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. Thus, it falls upon our shoulders to safeguard this fragile oasis in the cosmos. With resolve unwavering, we must steer humanity away from the precipice of ecological disarray toward a future where prudence, stewardship, and wisdom reign supreme. Thank you, and may our commitment to this vital cause be the cornerstone upon which we edify a sustainable and harmonious tomorrow. Speaker 3 Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished attendees, Today, I stand before you not merely as an advocate for environmental prudence, but as a vigilant sentinel, sounding the clarion call on an issue of utmost pertinence, global warming. This portentous challenge is no trifling matter, it is an existential reckoning that compels our collective recognition and concerted action. Permit me to elucidate the profound gravity of this predicament. The relentless surge of anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions, stemming from myriad human activities, has unfurled a formidable disruption of our planet's climatic equilibrium, an alteration fraught with climatic tumult hitherto unforeseen. Consider the far-reaching consequences, a cacophony of climatic aberrations, from melting ice caps and rising sea levels to the disconcerting intensification of weather events. These changes, far from inconsequential, are inflicting substantial ecological, social, and economic strains on our global community. To grapple with this epic-defining challenge, we must embark upon an odyssey guided by sagacity and international cooperation. In this new age of interconnectedness, isolationist thinking is no longer tenable. The inexorable threat of our shared fate mandates a universal accord. Collaborative efforts must extend beyond territorial boundaries fostering a global consensus that acknowledges our collective responsibility. The transition toward a sustainable future hinges upon our capacity to relinquish antiquated paradigms. To this end, we must pivot away from fossil fuels and ardently invest in renewable energy resources. However, the journey to sustainability is more than a mere shift in energy sources. It necessitates innovation, technological advancement, and a resolute commitment to environmental stewardship. In the indelible words of Sir Winston Churchill, the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. It is incumbent upon us, as stewards of the earth, to be optimists and seize the opportunity embedded within this formidable challenge. In conclusion, let us recognize that the age of apathy has passed, and we now face a juncture where inaction is no longer admissible. Our world, with its intricate ecosystems and delicate balance, is our shared haven. Let our resolve to protect and preserve this precious inheritance be the clarion call that unites us, transcending political and ideological divides. Thank you and may our collective determination illuminate the path toward a sustainable, harmonious, and prosperous future for all. Speaker 4 Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests. Today, I find myself standing before you not solely as a champion of environmentalism, but as a humble emissary, beckoning your profound consideration toward an existential quandary of cosmic proportions. It is the specter of global warming a predicament so profound in its ramifications that it beseeches our collective comprehension, and indeed, our collective responsibility. 
Let me, if I may, impart upon you the profundity of this conundrum. The ceaseless proliferation of anthropogenic greenhouse gases, born from the intricate intricacies of human agency, has begotten a perturbation of our planet's climatic equilibrium, a shift that begets climatic vagaries heretofore undocumented. We stand at the precipice of environmental transformation, where the implications ripple far and wide. From the thawing expanse of polar ice to the inclement intensification of weather patterns, the global community finds itself grappling with the specter of irrevocable alteration, a transformation manifesting within ecosystems as an uncanny discordance. To reckon with this unprecedented challenge, we must undertake a collective voyage, traversing the terrain of scientific scrutiny and international cooperation. The pursuit of wisdom must now guide our ship, for we can no longer entertain the conceit of individualism, our fates are intrinsically entwined in the fate of our pale blue dot. In the crucible of this trial, we are urged to abandon the carbon-centric paradigms of yesteryears, and forge an ascendant path characterized by renewable energy matrices. Yet, we are compelled to venture further still, conceiving novel technologies and harnessing the inexhaustible potential of cosmic energy sources. Ladies and gentlemen, the epoch of inaction has culminated, yielding to a moment of profound consequences. As the revered Albert Einstein so sagaciously noted, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. The imperative to adapt, to evolve, and to transcend the constraints of our inherited paradigms is upon us. In closing, let us heed the cosmic clarion call of environmental stewardship, recognizing that our pale blue dot, ensconced in the immensity of the cosmos, is our singular haven. It falls upon our shoulders to serve as the architects of a sustainable future, a future where wisdom reigns supreme, where global cooperation knows no bounds, and where the fragile oasis of Earth flourishes as a testament to our cosmic voyage. Thank you, and may the spirit of cosmic exploration inspire our commitment to a harmonious and enduring existence on this wondrous world. Speaker 5 Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed participants. Today, I stand before you not as an environmentalist, nor as a politician, but as a concerned global citizen, compelled by the urgency of our era to address a formidable challenge, global warming. This complex issue demands not only our attention but our unwavering commitment to action. Allow me to articulate the gravity of this predicament. The unrelenting rise in anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions, originating from human activities, has precipitated an unparalleled disruption of our planet's climate equilibrium, a transformation rife with climatic vicissitudes hitherto unimagined. Consider the multifaceted implications, accelerated polar ice melt, heightened sea levels, and the alarming exacerbation of extreme weather events. These shifts, far from being inconsequential, resonate across the global tapestry, imperiling ecosystems, communities, and economies alike. To confront this epoch-defining challenge, we must embark on a collective odyssey, one marked by global cooperation and fueled by the wellspring of wisdom. In our interconnected world, the isolationist paradigms of old are untenable, the exigences of our time dictate a harmonious, transnational accord. The transition to a sustainable future necessitates more than just renewable energy sources, it requires innovation, technological prowess, and a profound dedication to environmental stewardship. We must also undertake the critical task of diversifying our energy portfolios, bolstering resilience in the face of change, and nurturing the transformation of our societies toward sustainable paradigms. In the timeless words of John F. Kennedy, our problems are man-made, therefore they may be solved by man. And man can be as big as he wants. We find ourselves at a crossroads, 
confronted by a defining moment that beckons us to rise to the occasion, to be as big as our aspirations. In conclusion, let us understand that the era of indifference has passed, and we now stand on the precipice of a new age, an age defined not by the difficulties before us but by the opportunities they present. As custodians of our planet, let our collective resolve illuminate the path toward a sustainable, equitable, and prosperous future for all. Thank you, and may our commitment to this pivotal cause inspire generations to come. Thank you for listening to English Audio Lounge. We hope you enjoyed it.